Now, born and raised here in San Antonio, Texas, this is the only place I have ever lived. So I've seen the good, the bad, the great, and the ugly. We're gonna be covering all of that, right? So we're gonna go over five pros and five cons. Let's just dive right into it. What's up family? If this is your first time here, I am Rick Ortiz and I'm your go-to guy when it comes to moving, purchasing or selling anywhere here in San Antonio, Texas. We have families that reach out to us day in and day out and we absolutely love assisting every single one of them when it comes to living here in San Antonio, Texas. So if learning anything about the culture, a lifestyle or anything real estate related here in San Antonio, Texas interests you, make sure to hit that like, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're notified every single time we come out with another video. All right, so for the first pro, we're gonna go over things to do, the attractions here in San Antonio, Texas, right? So you got things that are indoors, like, you know, museums, there's all kinds of restaurants, there is uh, actual, you know, stadiums here, the AT&T Center, the Alamo Dome are very famous here. People come here, a lot of attractions come here, including the San Antonio Rodeo, which we actually just got through with. All kinds of artists come and perform here uh, while people go enjoy food, some alcoholic beverages, and a beautiful show from the Stock Show and Rodeo, right? Now, if your family is into outdoorsy type stuff, there are many, many parks here in San Antonio as well with along with the river walk and places like the pearl where you can go and just take a stroll and start walking right there's just endless possibilities when it comes to things to do here in san antonio right now if you're thinking you know water parks and stuff like that we have places like fiesta texas which has its own water park itself not to mention the roller coasters and attractions they have going on there we also have places like Schlitterbahn, which was one of the biggest attractions in the state of Texas at one point, uh, but it's still growing and there are tons of stuff to do here. We have the Majestic Theater, which attractions do come there too. My wife and I actually went to check out the, the Grinch Who Stole Christmas play this past Christmas, and it was one of the most exciting things I have ever been to. I wasn't, I didn't think I was gonna actually enjoy it, but it was some of the coolest actors actresses i've ever seen the play was amazing there's just a lot to do here with a lot of things to do here a lot of historic things there's a lot of people that come and visit here for vacation now actually visiting and living here is two different things so i always shoot you straight when it comes to the actual facts of here in san antonio texas right so with that pro comes this con and we're talking about traffic so traffic is uh, a crazy thing that is always going on in one place or another. There are highways and roads always getting worked on. There's always detours, but at the same time, there are always back roads or different routes that you can go. My wife and I you like to use the app called Waze, and if you don't have it, I suggest you download it. It absolutely is a game changer. It helps us reroute to different areas and helps us just cut down our drive time. So, so that's one of the cons here in San Antonio. Now let's get into another pro. We talked about the traffic. Uh, one of the pros that kind of coincides with that is the actual opportunity and the growth here, right? So we have a lot of tech companies that are coming here. There's a lot of out of state restaurants that are moving here, opening business here. There's just a lot of people and businesses that are actually hiring people right now. So if you wanted to actually relocate and find a job here in San Antonio, there is a lot of opportunity to come and find a good paying job here. So the opportunity, you know, there's a lot, but it, as far as the growth, right? The growth, there is a ton of growth that is still bound to happen here in the Alamo City. And we're talking about, you know, the highways and everything getting worked on. Uh, the reason being is because there is, there is a need for different routes because there are so many people that are now visiting here and are finding out that the Alamo City is one of the best places to live and now moving here, right? So with that comes growth, right? There are gonna be, like I said, more businesses and more restaurants and everything opening up, uh, a bunch of different things that are gonna be coming here and just expanding the growth of our city giving a lot of opportunity here. 
Another thing I wanted to talk about as far as growth is the actual real estate, right? There's a lot of land that is undeveloped and is still purchased, waiting to be developed as far as, you know, construction and everything. There is just a ton of opportunity here. So as far as the real estate side, there are so many places that you can move to. There's different neighborhoods, whether it's the north, south, east, west. There are so many opportunities when it comes to real estate and growth here. So as far as the land and all that good stuff, now we're gonna jump into another con, okay? So another con of living here in San Antonio, I would say is the actual settlement of the land. The way that homes shift and land shifts when an actual plot is actually developed and a foundation is poured and an actual home is built on it. So I have so many clients that have moved here to San Antonio, Texas, or you know are located locally here in San Antonio and are renting and they move out and they actually buy their first home, whether it's a brand new home or a pre-owned home, you just have to expect some kind of foundation shift, right? Once your actual home gets built and you start living in it, you start setting furniture down, you start moving around and getting used to you actually living in your home, so you just have to expect some kind of shifting in your home. So you may see a small crack on the, you know, in the wall, or you may see some, you know, tile coming up from the ground or something like that. There are a lot of opportunities for new construction that give 10 year structural warranties for things like that. So, so for instance, I had a client that actually moved in about two years ago. She reached out to me and said, hey Rick, she bought a brand new home. She said, hey Rick, you know, I'm starting to see a little bit of crack on, on the wall as you enter, right? And I said, no need to worry. All we have to do is put in a claim with your new builder, with your new home builder. And what they're gonna do is go through the process of coming out to check it out. And if it's some kind of foundation shift where it's past the legal limit, they have to fix it. So it's a beautiful thing to take advantage of. There's a lot of new construction homes here in San Antonio, Texas that are actually taking advantage of the undeveloped land right now. And you can actually lock in a home for as little as 500 to a thousand dollars. And it, it seems insane, but you know, a lot of people don't even believe it till they actually reach out to me and we make it happen. So just keep that in mind. All right, so we're gonna kind of shift gears a little bit for the next pro. And as far as the next pro, number three, we're gonna talk about the weather, right? So the weather here in San Antonio is some of the best weather in any city, any state. Now, one thing I can mention is that we don't necessarily have the, the proper seasons here in San Antonio, but the weather is, for the most part, always beautiful, right? Yes, it does get hot and we'll kind of get into that, but there is just so much opportunity to get outside and do things that you want to do without having to worry about you know crazy amount of snow or it getting super super cold or you know kind of covering your pipes and preparing for all that stuff every once in a while we do have that but but the weather for the most part here is usually sunny maybe a little bit cloudy but not too crazy a, lo a lot of people that move here or come and visit here always tell me man the weather here is just amazing we're going to talk about the, the bad stuff about the weather right now like i had mentioned it does get super super hot now we're talking about temperatures that get up to 90 95 sometimes even 105 sometimes even higher it does get insanely hot here from time to time but living here in san antonio i've just grown custom to the actual weather here and I personally would rather have it extremely hot than negative, you know, 10 degrees where it's just pouring snow, to be honest. Now, I'm not speaking for everybody, but if that's something that interests you and you want to avoid the snow, you know, you want to enjoy some nice weather, then living here in San Antonio is, is probably a good thing for you when it comes to weather. Now, the actual cost of real estate and everything here is not really as expensive and hasn't necessarily taken a huge toll when it comes to the inflation, right? All around the world, inflation is an actual thing. San Antonio for sure has taken a, a big step when it comes to inflation, but at the same time, it is still very, very moderate here when it comes to purchasing anything here in the Alamo City. Now we're talking car prices, we're talking real estate, we're talking restaurants, we're talking anything that you do here, to be honest with you, is very, very moderate. A lot of people that come visit, move here, are actually 
mind blown with the fact that things are still the price that they are here. Now with the price still being good, also comes a con. Let's get into the fourth con, which is lower wages. Now you can go to another city, another state and actually get, you know, a better paying job. A lot of jobs here haven't really taken an increase when it comes to the wages as far as adjusting to inflation. So that is one of the cons here. Now, the opportunity there is that people and businesses are starting to realize that they haven't really adjusted to the inflation when it comes to wages, so they're actually making changes. I've seen a lot of clients of mine, a lot of family, a lot of friends that are actually getting raises, getting more money, getting bigger bonuses, and there's, there's actually jobs that are starting people off at higher pay things are getting better, but that I guess you can consider as a con because the actual cost of wages are still decently low when it comes to the actual cause of inflation. Um, a lot of other states and other places have adjusted to inflation a little bit more and they're actually paying sometimes even double than what people are paying here. So that's just something to keep in mind, but there is room for growth and there is opportunity that a lot of businesses are taking advantage of right now. All right, so let's jump into the last pro. We're gonna talk about the food and the culture here in San Antonio, the Alamo City. Whatever kind of food that you're feeling at the moment, there is an opportunity to eat at a place here in San Antonio. Not to even mention the actual Mexican food here is off the charts. There are small places to eat like food trucks. There's parks where actual food trucks get together and they gather and there's all kinds of oriental food. There's pizza. There's just all kinds of food here in the Alamo City. And when it comes to the culture here in the Alamo City, there are a ton of ethnicities that from all around the world live here. We are a military based city with three major bases here and there are all kinds of people from all over the world that are in the military that are moving here that are stationed here and uh, being a military based city we have so much opportunity and there is just so much culture here a lot of people get along with each other well different races and ethnicities bring everybody together because we literally you can walk and take a stroll and you will just see all kinds of ethnicities the culture here is absolutely amazing growing up born and raised here in san antonio it has been so awesome i've visited other cities i've visited other states and not saying that other cities and states you know were were bad but the culture here is just second to none so now let's get into the last con and in my opinion the last con is that san antonio is always changing right you can never get used to something here there's always a new highway a new restaurant a new road something new is always going on here whether it's a construction to a building a, a new church or new something that is always going on in some neighborhood you can kind of see that as a pro, you can see it as a con, but you can't you just can't get used to anything here. Growing up in Alamo City, I have always, you know, tried to grow custom to things that happen in the city and you just can never get used to anything because things change. There's people from, you know, different cities that are moving here and they're, you know, opening a new restaurant. It changes the scenery in that specific area and things are just constantly changing here now. Again, like I said, you can take it as a pro, take it as a con, but you know, it's just, you, can, you just can't get used to anything here. So that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you again for joining me for the pros and cons of living here in San Antonio. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and that notification bell. Drop a like, drop a comment. Make sure to drop a comment. Let us know what you thought about the pros and the cons. And if you have any questions about anything involving San Antonio, Texas, when it comes to purchasing and selling real estate, or you have any questions about any kind of lifestyle here, let us know. We work days and nights and weekends for you guys when it comes to moving to San Antonio. Appreciate you guys joining us again. We'll see you on the next one.